Fancy dress balls were a staple of Australian colonial life. In 1866, Melbourne's Lord Mayor threw a magnificent ball to honour the new Governor of Victoria who had just arrived from England. And it was an occasion for women to show off and look their best. I think without a doubt that Mrs. Matilda Butters won the day. She wore an extraordinary outfit that has now come to be called the press dress. It was uh, extraordinary in the sense that it was made of um, several large panels of silk. The silk had been custom printed with the uh, front pages of 14 Melbourne newspapers. The State Library of Victoria has a big collection of all the original newspapers from the time. And uh, these are two volumes of, um, of the bound newspapers. It was the same uh, printing plates that were used to print the silk for the dress. And uh, the image you see here is of the governor who had just arrived from uh, England. And uh, it was in his honor that the costume ball was held. An adjoining panel is printed with a picture of the Melbourne Town Hall. The dress itself is quite fragile. There are lots of horizontal splits on the silk. And in order for the dress to be on display at the National Gallery of Australia in Canberra, it's necessary for me to uh, perform an extensive conservation treatment, which require me to uh, take the dress completely apart, panel by panel. These are the metal trim that I've removed from the dress. The sharp edges have cut into the silk as it was worn. Uh, so now I'm on to another step in the treatment, which is to place an adhesive lining, uh, which is a synthetic net that has been covered with glue. The next step is to uh, reactivate the adhesive with a heated spatula. And this is what the finished piece looks like when it's been uh, stabilized with the synthetic net and uh, the adhesive. When the piece is put sewn back together on the, uh, on the stiff cotton lining, I'll place a new piece of silk in a matching color on the uh, cotton lining. What I'm doing here is building the structure for the dress that will go on display. The crinoline and the corset are both authentic reproductions of the underwear worn in 1866. I'm also recreating uh, the bodice worn at the time uh, from the engraving, which has been our only reference. It's now 70 days since I started the conservation treatment and the big moment has finally come. really excited and it's quite an amazing moment in the history of the library since we've never seen the dress upright before. It's been too fragile and has only been able to lie flat in a box. It's turned out better than I expected. Um, it obviously looks beautiful. The dress created quite a lot of uh, publicity. A year later, Mrs. Matilda Butters' husband became the Lord Mayor of Melbourne. Clever Mrs. Butters, she knew what would get her maximum attention.